Hello everybody and welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I created a half burnt face Halloween look. And first I'm going to start by applying my moisturizer from Mary Kay on only the half side of my face. Next I'm using my baby skin pore filler as a primer. Here I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal True Match foundation and applying this all on the half side of my face and blending this out with a beauty blender. I'm going in with my Anastasia Brow Pomade and I'm going to fill in my eyebrows and conceal them with my Anastasia Concealer. Finally, I'm just going to get a clean blending brush and just blend out the concealer. Now I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Radiance Palette. I'm going to go in with Golden Ochre and apply this all on my lids and use this as my transition color. Here I'm going to go in with Red Ochre and also apply this on top and just darken up my transition color a little bit. Now I'm going to go in with Vermeer and add this all on my lid for a highlight color and blend this together once again. Now I'm going to go in with Real Guard and apply this right in the center where Vermeer and Red Ochre meet. Here I'm going to use my favorite waterproof liquid liner that I've been obsessed with. This one is from LA Splash. Now I'm just going to apply some falsies. Moving on to my face, I'm using my FX Conceal from Sephora. And I'm going to apply this all on my under eyes and just blend this with a beauty blender. Going in with my Anastasia Contouring Kit, I'm going to go in with Havana and just contour my cheekbones and down the bridge of my nose. Now I'm just going to go in with my banana powder and just bake all the highlighted points of my face. I normally let it sit for about 2 minutes and then dust it off. Going back with my Modern Radiance Anastasia palette, I'm going to go in with Red Work and Real Guard um, and just apply this on my lower lash line. For lips, I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dusty Rose Matte Liquid Lipstick. And for blush, I'm using a MAC blush in Fairly Scarlet. Finally, for highlight, I'm just going to be using my Becca Highlight in Champagne Pop. Okay, I got too excited. Um, next, I'm going to be adding some spare gum around my eyebrow. I'm going to be applying some tissue paper on top of my eyebrow with liquid latex. Only because I don't want to directly apply the liquid latex on my eyebrow because it may pull, basically wax my eyebrow hair off. I'm going to be applying about two thin coats of liquid latex on the other half of my face. I am going to be going a little bit down to my neck and a little bit on my chest. So I'm going to be applying another thin layer there. And you don't have to let it dry completely. You just have to let it dry a little bit and then apply a second coat or as much as you think you need. Here I'm just using regular red Halloween makeup and I'm just going to apply this all on top of the liquid latex. Next, I'm going in with some black Halloween makeup and applying this all around the socket of my eyes. Here, I'm using my Coastal Sense eyeshadow palette. Using the red eyeshadows, I'm going to go in right in the center where my makeup and the burn face meets. 
I'm going to add some red eyeshadow just to make it seem like it's a little bit bruised there. Now I'm going in with some black eyeshadow and also setting the black areas on my face. Here I'm using some regular Halloween vampire blood and applying this all on the red areas on my face. This is going to make it look and appear a little bit more of a fresh burn. And that is it you guys. This is the end of the look. I really hope you guys enjoy this Halloween tutorial and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!